Actually, it's not that I'm shy, but Russ made, asked me to make this quick, so thank you. <laughs> uh, for those of you who know me, I am not a, uh, a person that likes to put together PowerPoints or presentations. I would rather come here today in shorts, t-shirt, and, sneak and my sneakers if I could, uh, and kind of walk around the park with you guys. But uh, I want to thank you for letting me come out today to speak to you, giving me this opportunity. I am excited. I also want to say thank you to Six Flags for hosting this event because I know if this event was hosted at our park, I don't know where we'd put you. We'd probably just have it outside in the rain today, but uh, they got a great big room and thank you for hosting it today. Uh, Lake Compounds uh, this year, we're, we're really excited. Uh, one of the things that we're doing is, as you guys know, I know everybody would like to see a, a new roller coaster coming in, but um, one of the things that we have neglected at our park for many years has been our kids area. And our, our kids area has been I think the last new ride we put in the kids area was like 2006, 2007. Um, and most of our kids rides, they either go up and down or around and around. So we were looking at our stage area where the trampoline show was and that looked pretty shabby too. So it was a good idea to take that down and replace it with Dino Expedition. Uh, Dino Expedition will be a walkthrough for our kids. There'll be some animatronic dinosaurs. And let me tell you, that has been kind of fun playing with the dinosaurs uh, right now. Um, you, uh, putting those together. We have dinosaurs that are, you know, 23 feet tall, 50 feet long. Um, they're in pieces still, so we still have to figure out how to put those together. But with the snow, we've been kind of holding off. Uh, but that will be the highlight of our kids' area this year. Um, we're doing that over in Bear Creek Campground, which we opened last year. And for those of you who knew me from last year, I have aged about 20 years and put on about 50 pounds because of that. Uh, that project, but we did open it in July. Uh, we were very excited because it sold out just about every weekend, so it was it was exciting news. So we're going to be expanding that with these uh, smaller cabin cub huts, they're called. And, and for someone that took maybe one of the door prizes, there was um, some overnight stay in the cub hut. Who? Someone back there. So you get to stay in the cub hut. Um, so it's exciting, so you get to come down. And it was really kind of neat to have an overnight package for the park, so people were staying in RVs and uh, staying in the cabins and tents, and then, you know, the parks behind them. And it was kind of an interesting thing, because I stayed there a few nights, and uh, I stayed in a teepee one night, and we are addressing the teepees because it was like staying on a fat farm, because it was about 150 degrees in that teepee. <laughs> and I came out, it looked like I went swimming in, in the lake. And somebody goes, how was it? And I said, I'm never staying in one of those things again. It was, it was, it was awful. But uh, so this year we put electricity into the, to the teepees. We put some uh, fans in there. So we're excited about that. But um, it, it was an experience that I do not want to replicate. Uh, the cabin is more my style, staying in air conditioning, watching TV, and, and then having a beer before I go to bed. Uh, so it was kind of neat to do that. But um, uh, I see other people like to have the beer too. But um, <laughs> it, it was kind of just a, a neat thing to have the campground open and it was exciting. So we are going to expand the campground. It, it did really well for us. Uh, we added some more RV spots and, and I seen RVs that were, uh, some of them, I didn't think they were going to make it out of there and, and some were probably million dollar RVs. So it was, it was neat to see a, a bunch of different things that were coming in and out of the park. And, and those people were from all over the North America. We had people from Canada, Calgary, uh, staying at the campground. So it was, it was kind of an interesting thing for us. Um, last year we opened up, as you know, Pink's Hot Dogs. It, it did really well for us. Uh, we opened up Dunkin' Donuts partway through the summer. And, uh, you know, we're changing some more food concepts this year. We're going to take the crock, uh, the crock pot and put in uh, fried chicken meals. It's kind of going to be a concept between... Um, I guess I'd have to say a Boston Market and a KFC where it'll be fried chicken, but you can get meals with vegetables and potatoes and st uh, things like that. So that's going to be kind of neat for us this year, um, adding stuff like that. We're still going to do our, our laser show. Uh, we have taken the trampoline show, and it's called Vertigo now, and that'll take place in the Starlight Theater uh, upstairs. It'll be dif different acts this year. Um, there'll be chair stacking and trampoline still, but that'll all take place upstairs in the uh, Starlight Theater. Um, I, I know we're opening this year. I know I've been working hard on 2016 and 17, trying to get that lined up as well. As uh, uh, John pointed out earlier, you're working on the next year and the year after sometimes, and you forget about what you're doing this year. 
uh, because you're trying to keep up on stuff. It's, it's so hard to keep moving forward, yet get everything done that you're trying to do now. And, and John, I give you a lot of sympathy because I looked out in the park and you opened in one month. I'm, I started sweating just thinking about it. And I was like, wow, that's a lot of work to do with all the snow and stuff. And I was watching the kids as they came by with the, the deer in the headlight look uh, for those 16 year olds that are just starting their first job. Uh, so we're getting to that point, but not quite yet. So I, I give you guys a lot of credit because you got a lot of work to do for the next month. But um, really that's my presentation. We still have Haunted Graveyard coming up. We're gonna expand uh, Holiday Lights again. Um, it's kind of a neat family event. With all the lights, uh, we are putting in a giant Christmas tree uh, for this year. We bought a 100-foot tree. And um, how we're going to do that, I don't know yet, but we'll, we'll figure it out as we get to it. Uh, but we, we did buy a big tree to put up, and I said, uh, if it's hard to put up, we're just going to leave it up year-round. Uh, we'll have Christmas in July, Christmas in May, Christmas in June. So we'll be celebrating different uh, Christmas uh, months every month. So. Uh, any questions that anybody has, I, I'd like to answer them, and if not, I'm, I'm done. <laughs> yes? I didn't go last year, but the flume, right The flume, yes, we got our shoot back. Uh, it's in place, and um, the guys are supposed to come out and finish tying it in um, as soon as we get weather on our side. We've been talking to them. Uh, uh, they're out of uh, Michigan, this group, and uh, they should be out hopefully when the weather, we can get four or five days of good weather together to finish. Yes? How's, how's, how's uh, Boulder Dash looking? Is, is the track still properly maintained up there? They... Boulder Dash looks sexy. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't ridden it since October, but um, the track's still there, so I, you know, it's uh, ready to go. And yeah, we, we've done uh, track work on the uh, South Fantail. We've done track work coming into the brake uh, run. We've done track work coming down to the uh, off the first drop, and we're doing wildcat work again this year. Uh, trying to keep up on that because we have to finish the track before we put new trains on it. So we're we're working hard on trying to finish that up too. So yes. Yeah, actually, uh, the question was, the raft rides all the way down on the south end of the park by itself. Have we ever thought about adding to it? You know, we do have our catering area down there, and we have thought about stuff. We have stuff uh, slated for that area. Uh, the big issue right now is if we do put a lot of stuff down there, then you have to add more bathrooms, more food service, and we just haven't gotten to that point yet. Uh, but we do have other stuff slated uh, for the park. Yes? Do you guys have plans to add sewer hookups at the campground we have the dump station right now, um, but as far as sewer hookups, it, it's not in the immediate plans, no. Um, you have to go over to the dump station and, and dump it, and that is a, an experience in itself, too. Uh, <laughs> I tried it once, and I almost quit, so it's, uh, it's a bad job. Anything else? Yes? I feel like I ask this almost every time I see you. Do you have plans for the spinning coaster that you were thinking about adding? Uh, no, a spinning ghost or no? Any ghost. Any ghost. No. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, I, I think in the two years you'll see some of each. Uh, water and dry park attraction. What's the schedule for that? You show it for That'll start uh, mid-June when the uh, kids get out of school. Uh, the trampoline uh, group, uh, they're out of Quebec. They're in college till the, um, usually right around the first week of June. And as soon as they get out, they, they come down and start rehearsing and we open, I think it's June 13th this year. Is it gonna have the same hours, like right? the same show time as when it was over there? Yeah, it's, um, it's like one, three, five, and then seven on, on weekends. Um, so about the same schedules I had before. <coughs> That's it. Oh. Are you still planning to like extend your boundaries by moving around the lake further with the water park or with the other side? Uh, yeah, as, as you guys, when you come to the park, you see we're still digging where the old road was. We have about another year of, maybe year and a half of sand removal. 
Uh, there's still about 400,000 yards of uh, sand to, to remove. So we're doing that every day. They're, you know, and, and again, we're, we're moving it. And as we move it, we start adding and, and building. So we're, we're kind of following that trend. Yes. This was easy. <laughs> Russ, uh, that's it. I thank you again. Thanks, guys. <laughs>